this was the prediction I made uh, three, five days earlier. And it says, geologist is on the money. And I had this in my pocket, and I was on the Bill Cosby show. And uh, I said, see, geologist is on the money. Now I want to be in the money. <laughs> and, uh, and it turns out that the partner and I won uh, 15000 between us, which was the most for the year on Bill Cosby's uh, You Bet Your Life. But uh, so earthquake prediction can pay off. <laughs> I've just made a list, which you will see in the latest issue of my newsletter. I, I tabulated all of the major quakes this year, and I believe there were 14, and 11 of the 14 were in my seismic window, and a couple others were just a day off. June 1st to 8th of this year is going to be a great test. It's going to be one of the most seismically prone periods I've ever seen. It's the super syzygy. The moment of the new moon, where the moon and sun rise together and set together, that moment is only six hours apart. It can be seven days apart. And the closer the two events are together, the higher the tides. And on the 3rd of June, we're going to have a 9.0 range in tides between low and high. Now, a minus one foot tide is pretty good for abalone hunters. This is going to be about two feet below normal tide and up seven feet higher just six hours later. I mean, seven feet plus. So that's a range of nine. This has only happened very rarely. It's about once every 10 years. And, uh, and it's a super syzygy. Uh, the odds have gone way up. I'd, I'm between 80 and 85% confident we're gonna have a quake in the Bay Area during that period of at least 3.5 and more likely higher. And at the same time, during the same period, a similar quake within 140 miles of Los Angeles and a similar quake uh, in Oregon or Washington in the northwest. And then around the world, look for another major quake. The last major quake, maybe a great quake, an 8.0, it was in China on the 11th, our time, Pacific Standard Time. And that's what I go by. And uh, we haven't had one since. We also had another just before then in Japan. It was a 6.9 or 7. So uh, now I'm waiting for another major quake.